Welcome to Sling Studio. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import videos and graphics and use them in your live productions. Load your content onto a USB storage device and connect it to the Sling Studio using the USB-C expander. On your iPad, open the project menu. You can add graphics or video clips. You have the option to import from the internal library, SD card, or USB storage device. You can select up to 10 files at a time to import. You can copy them to the internal Sling Studio memory or add them directly to the project. Your imported files will appear in the Video Clips section of the Video Sources tab. You can remove files by tapping the Edit button. Click Done when finished. Tapping a clip will add it as an active source. You can drag and drop to replace an existing source. You can play or pause video clips in the Sources section or use the control bar inside the preview window. Use the progress bar to quickly find and set your video's starting point. You can also trim each clip by using the mark in and mark out sliders. Each clip has audio controls that let you adjust the clip volume, mute other audio sources, or mute the clip. The Settings button allows you to toggle the loop and autoplay functions for when your video goes to program. Adding graphics is done the same way as adding videos. From the Project menu, click Add Graphics, select the storage location, and select the graphics you wish to import. You can find your newly imported graphics under the Graphics tab. You can now use them the same way you would Sling Studio's existing graphics. Depending on the design of your graphic, you may need to rescale it to full screen. With your videos and graphics imported and tested, you are now ready for your live production. For more information and tutorials, go to myslingstudio.com.